We're just rowing out into position here. Josh is taking us out. You probably notice we're in a drift boat. And for some of you, you may think, wow, that's more a boat suited for rivers. But for chasing gulpers like this, this boat is ideal. It's stable, it's quiet, it draws very little water so we can get in the shallows because these fish are often very shallow, very maneuverable. So we can chase rising fish or pods of rising fish very easily. So a drift boat is an excellent tool when you're hunting fish with dry flies and still water. <laughs> I was looking away and I heard this gloosh. My, the gulp. My foam ant, yes, I got the gulp, the Heb Hebden gulp. Now we're very shallow here. So I'm gonna try and keep him from burying himself into the weeds. That's one of the risks. We actually took, we had a small uh, Calabatus nymph as a dropper and we took it off because we kept hanging up. We're probably in less than four feet of water. Oh, it's a nice looking brown. Nice looking brown and we just heard his gloomph. As I turned back and my fly disappeared. So you gotta love the ones that self set. And as soon as I can get them under control here, I'm gonna gather all this loose line because your feet are not your friend when you're fighting a fish. Fly line, I swear, has microscopic legs at times that seem to run in and under everything. And I'm just gathering this up and looks like he might be, he showed me his face. Might get lucky. Might get lucky. He might tire quicker, but I always get suspicious. They always seem to have one last gasp. There he is, he's right below us here. Always lose the fish off the set or right at the net. Yeah. And that was perfect. Oh, this curved. is a gorgeous brown. Gorgeous brown trout. Wow. And again, just following Josh's recommendations about trying to read the rise, look for the open end. Oh, this is a nice fat brown. And there we go. Phil one, have done nothing. <laughs> Very fat, nice little female. It's a female. Yep, it's a female. Yeah, she's fat. Take that barbless fly out. There we go. Thank you, Josh. Wow, wet my hands so I don't damage the fish. And that is dry, still water dry fly fishing. Gulpers on Hebden. What a magnificent fish. Look at that. Fat, healthy, in here, gulping. What this lake is famous for. Boy, to take a fish on a dry fly on a lake is, is pretty special. Most think it's a nymph or streamer game. But places like Hebden here in Montana are so special because you can do this. What a gorgeous fish. Well done, Phil. He wants to go. Woo! <laughs>